A long night, following two intense weeks of discussions, as UN member states finalised the first international treaty to protect the high seas. Ladies and gentlemen, the ship has reached the shore. Indeed, it was worth the wait. Activists have praised the historic treaty as a momentous achievement, as it will allow for the creation of marine protected areas in these international waters. The high seas comprise around two thirds of the world's ocean and almost half the planet's surface. Since they extend up to 200 nautical miles from coastlines, all countries can use them for fishing, shipping and conducting research. But until now, just 1% of these waters have been protected, meaning that marine life in the high seas faces threats such as overfishing, shipping traffic and climate change. Its exact wording has not yet been agreed. But the treaty will require countries to carry out environmental impact surveys of proposed activities on the waters, helping to protect the ocean's precious ecosystems, which create half the oxygen humans breathe and limit global warming by absorbing carbon dioxide. Before it is formally adopted, the agreement will need to be vetted by lawyers and translated into the UN's six languages. Athens is bracing for a